Hello! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.14. The release of Jamf Pro 11.14 brings additional functionality to the Jamf Pro API. Administrators can now programmatically get account information for the given ID of an existing account. New accounts can now be created as well using the Jamf Pro API. Having access to the management ID value of a mobile device is necessary to send remote commands via the Jamf Pro API. When using the slash v2 slash mobile dash devices slash detail endpoint, the management ID value is now included in the return, allowing for more advanced workflows. For more information, the API landing page can be accessed by appending slash API to your Jamf Pro URL. Also, the Jamf Pro Developers page linked in the resources of this video contains additional API documentation, including API development guides and code samples. For high security organizations utilizing the Active Directory Certificate Services or ADCS connector, an additional secure method for deploying certificates is available with Jamf Pro 11.14. Administrators can now use the SCEP payload of a configuration profile to deploy certificates instead of the certificate payload. Using this deployment method, the key pair generation occurs on devices, not in Jamf Pro, and the private key is kept on the user's device. The SCEP deployment method also supports automatic certificate revocation based on scope change. For example, if a non-compliant device falls out of scope, the ADCS connector will request its certificate to be revoked in the ADCS. SCEP issued certificates can be renewed by setting the configuration profile to be automatically redistributed a specified number of days prior to expiration. For more information, check out the full release notes and the ADCS integration technical paper linked in the resources of this video. That's all for our quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.14. Be sure to visit the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com for requirements and details about the features we've covered and to review all of the updates in this version. Thanks for watching.